Uh, hello there and uh, welcome to the third and final part of uh, Editor X tutorial series. So uh, if you haven't uh, registered on the Editor X uh, website, uh, I highly suggest you to do that and you can find the link uh, in the video description down below. With this video we're going to finish building our uh, landing page and uh, we will add the contact form and the footer as well. So uh, about the contact form, uh, I'm going to show you not just how to create one, but also how to actually see and receive notification when someone tries to reach you with that same contact form. Here on uh, Editor X uh, we have inbox and uh, whenever a person submits a new message with our contact form, we will immediately see all those informations right here in Editor X uh, dashboard. Also, uh, there is a way to activate uh, auto response and uh, whenever you receive a message from a certain person, Editor X uh, will immediately send an uh, auto response message saying, uh, for example, uh, thank you for reaching out, uh, we will respond to your email within next 24 hours. Plus, we can customize and design our own email template as well. Uh, okay, and uh, now we're going to create a new section down below, so let's scroll down. And uh, we're going to create a new section uh, similar to this one. And instead of creating that, I'm going to just uh, copy it. So uh, select this uh, section here, and then uh, press those uh, three dots. And uh, click uh, duplicate here, or uh, shortcut control D. And now we're going to get that same uh, section down below. So I'm going to select again uh, this second uh, section and uh, click those three dots. And then I'm going to click uh, move down. So we want to place this uh, new section down below. So uh, let me open this uh, layers section. And uh, here I'm going to rename this uh, to maybe something like uh, contact us title. And inside we have one stack. So uh, when we select this stack and uh, open up this inspector and uh, down below when we uh, open up this anchor we're going to see this uh, gallery anchor and that is because we have a duplicate section and uh, we need to change the name of this uh, of this uh, anchor to for example contact us okay and uh, here we can uh, customize this uh, title and we can say for example get in touch and uh, we can uh, customize this uh, subtitle as well. And here we can say, for example, we would love to hear from you. Okay. And uh, for example, we can change uh, one thing here. So I'm going to select this section and uh, I'm going to change the background color. So uh, click this design button and uh, we're going to select, for example, this uh, black color. Okay. And the text color here can be white this time. So just change the color to white and uh, for the subtitle as well. Okay, there it is. All right, so now it looks uh, even better. And uh, now we can select this uh, whole section and we can click this uh, plus icon to create a new section down below where we are going to host our uh, contact form. So click this plus icon, then we can select uh, blank. Okay, so let me open up this inspector. And uh, here for the height, I can say, for example, 800 pixels, so it can be a little bigger. And let's click this add element. So here uh, we're going to search for uh, contact forms. And the first is contact here. So here we can choose uh, one of those and I'm going to select this one. OK, so uh, even though those are two predefined uh, contact forms, we can customize this design as well. So as you can see, this is our new contact form and we can rename this whole section to say something like uh, contact us. All right, so here uh, I'm going to select this uh, whole form and I'm going to move that on the center here, on the center of this uh, whole section. And I'm going to remove the top docking and add the uh, left and right. And the uh, left and right margins could be, for example, 30% uh, left and right. Okay, so now we can customize those uh, input fields and this button. So for example, I can increase uh, the width of this uh, button to match the width of those uh, input fields. And if I select one of those fields, I'm going to see that uh, their width is uh, 80%. So I'm going to select that button and increase that to 80% as well. Okay, so they can match now. And down below you can see this uh, text saying uh, thanks for submitting. And this text will show uh, when a user submits uh, those uh, information here. So we can, for example, press edit text and we can align this text on the center. Okay. 
So now when we select this uh, whole form, uh, we have some options so we can actually customize this. So here uh, we can add a new field, uh, we can add even a new element here. So when we press add element, we will get this form and we can add some more elements. So for example, we already have first and last name. Uh, we can add the recapture company position, email address, uh, phone, birthday and so on. And down below we have some more elements uh, which uh, we can add. So. Uh, you can choose whatever you want, but uh, I'm not going to add anything for now. I'm going to close that. So let's click this uh, layouts and here uh, you can also increase or decrease the input text padding if you want. And you can also align the, this text inside the contact form. I'm going to leave that as default. And now we can uh, design our uh, contact form. So press this design button. Okay, so here uh, we can customize our contact form. So here we have some predefined styles which we can choose. But in this case, uh, I just want to create my own style. So let's click this button. And here we can choose a submit button, input fields or a form background. And let's start with the submit button first. So here we have two states, regular and hover. So for the field call, I just want to change that uh, to green. Okay. And uh, for the text, so this submit text should be a little bit bolder. And uh, on our hover state, uh, I want to change the, the fill color to uh, this uh, green as well. But this time, uh, this green color should have opacity of uh, 80%. Okay. All right. So let's get back now and uh, let's choose input fields. So here uh, we have uh, four different states. We have regular, hover, focus and error. So first let's start with uh, our regular state. Let's select fill color. Uh, we're not going to change anything from here. Uh, now let's select the border and uh, here for the border color or opacity, I'm going to set 10% uh, opacity of this uh, black color. Okay, so here we can also choose a different border style, for example, all sides or none or even a bottom. I'm going to uh, leave that uh, only for the bottom. Okay, and uh, here as you can see the border width is uh, one pixel. So now let's uh, switch back to this uh, hover state. Here also we're going to change the border style to bottom and the uh, border width should be uh, one as well. Okay. All right. So this is a hover state and uh, for the focus state, uh, we can set uh, style again to bottom, uh, border width to, uh, to one and uh, border color can be, for example, let's see, maybe uh, we can change that to uh, green. Okay. So this is a focus and the uh, error. So we're going to customize that. First, we're going to remove this uh, fill color. We're going to set opacity to zero. Uh, then for the border, I'm going to just set this bottom style and uh, I'm going to set the width to uh, one. Okay. And uh, for the color, I'm going to set, uh, for example, this uh, red color. Okay. So this is for uh, error state. All right. So let's get back now. Let's close that. Let's save this and let's preview all of that. Okay. All right. Okay. So as you can see, when we hover over, we're going to see this uh, black line and when we focus, we're going to see this green. And for example, we can just type here something or uh, if we skip to uh, to fill some of those fields, we're going to see this uh, error error state, which is uh, actually a red color. And uh, when we hover over this button, you will see that this button will be a little bit uh, highlighted. So uh, our design looks uh, very clean. So let's uh, get back to edit site. Uh, let's select this uh, form. So uh, there are a few more things I want to show you about this uh, contact form. So let's open up this uh, form settings. Okay, so here we also have uh, some settings to, to choose from. So for example, if we click this uh, view submission table, the window will open and here we will see all the information which we uh, can gather through our contact forms. Okay, so first uh, we need to publish our site to actually see those uh, tables. So let's close that and let's uh, publish our website. Okay, so now let's click form settings, then uh, view submission table. Okay, so now our table uh, is actually empty, but here we're going to see all the information when someone uh, sends us a message with those contact forms. So here on the left side, we also have a contact list and uh, whenever some uh, person send us an email, that person's email address will be automatically added to this uh, contact list. And this is our inbox. So whenever someone send us a message, uh, we're going to receive that message right here. Uh, at the moment, I only have uh, those uh, three demo messages and uh, basically I can uh, 
directly respond from this inbox okay so uh, down below we can also see some more options for example uh, automatations and uh, here uh, we can for example activate one of those uh, automatations and uh, for example send thank you emails to visitors that submit a form so let's uh, use this one so click this button okay so let's open up this one and let's see what uh, options do we have here so uh, this uh, automation will trigger every time a visitor submits our form and uh, down below let's see what do we have so select which form triggers the automation so visitor submits any form on your uh, site okay down below let's open up this one okay so decide how you want to respond to the trigger uh, send email to contacts okay that's exactly what we want and here we can uh, customize the sender details so for example for the name of our email we can set uh, I'm going to write my own name here and click save and uh, then I would need to uh, enter the code from my email to confirm again okay so there we go so uh, here we have option to actually uh, edit this uh, email template but I'm not going to edit that uh, at this moment and uh, down below let's check this option as well to see what we have here so here we can choose a time to send this action we can send it uh, immediately and uh, we can limit this uh, frequency as well but at this time I won't limit that and I'm going to click activate okay so just a few seconds and uh, our uh, automation will be done okay so click view automation and as you can see this uh, is now active so for example let's close this for now and uh, let me just uh, save that okay so let me click preview and here for example i'm going to write some uh, random information for example john last name doe here I'm going to write uh, my own email address so uh, I can actually see this uh, uh, thank you uh, automation. Here for the phone number I'm going to just write some random number and for the message I'm going to write something like uh, hey there. Okay, so click submit and you get this message thanks for submitting. So uh, let's go to this edit site for now and now when I select this contact form click uh, form settings then uh, view submission table. And then in this table we can see the actual date and the time uh, and we can also see some more information about the person uh, who sent us an email so we can see the actual email first name last name phone number and the actual message and uh, that person's email address is also now uh, automatically added inside this contact list so as you can see and inside our inbox we can also see that uh, message as well so here as you can see we have john doe and we can uh, directly answer to this email right here okay and now let's check my uh, email inbox to see that uh, actual message okay so here it is and we can see the title saying uh, thanks for getting in touch and uh, here it is our default uh, email template so thanks for getting in touch thanks for getting in touch with us we will get back to you as soon as we can okay so also we can customize this template as uh, i already mentioned but we're not going to do that at this moment so i just wanted to show you that uh, it actually works and uh, it looks uh, very professional and uh, now we're going to add a footer down below so we can click this uh, plus uh, button then we can select sections then footer and here we can choose uh, one of those uh, default templates for footers and we can modify them as well okay so it is uh, automatically added inside our uh, uh, web page and let me just open this layer section so select this uh, new section then three dots then uh, move down and now our section is placed down below okay so now i can rename this to uh, footer okay and let me just save all of that okay let me preview now all right so as you can see this is how our website looks like now okay so this is a laptop version and we can check also a tablet to see how we look that on tablet okay it looks uh, very nice and let's check a mobile version as well uh, okay so we have uh, just uh, one minor issue here so uh, we need to fix that and uh, let's first select our contact form and we're going to reduce the minimum width here to for example 280 and uh, we're going to move this contact form uh, here on the center okay so uh, for the left and right margins i'm going to set uh, five percent okay and we're going to remove uh, top docking all right so now when we scroll uh, up on the top uh, we will see that uh, these repeater items are actually expanded a little bit more and uh, I'm going to select just one of those items and change its width for example to 250 and now when I change one of those items uh, width the all other items will change as well 
and now our website looks uh, perfectly fine on mobile devices. So let's save that and let's preview our website once again. Okay, so as you can see when we scroll up and down, everything looks just fine. So the last thing we need to do, uh, we can add some animation to our contact form for example. So let's uh, select our contact form, let's click this animation button and let's uh, choose uh, one of the uh, predefined animations from here. So I can select for example float in and I can customize uh, direction here. For example I can customize that uh, from bottom. Okay. Alright. So let's save that and let's preview uh, our website uh, one more time. Okay, so as you can see the animation looks uh, very nice and uh, all our items or elements here uh, are well animated and uh, it uh, just looks perfect. Uh, okay, so uh, one more thing, uh, we need to animate this uh, menu on our mobile devices. So let's get back to edit site and uh, here let's select our menu and uh, we're going to animate that uh, right now. So click this uh, animation button and uh, we can choose for example float in animation from the right side okay so you can see the default direction is from right and that is fine so now we can save that okay done and we can preview to see how will that look like and as you can see now our menu is uh, animated as well so uh, the final thing uh, we just uh, need to connect our uh, menu item contact us with our section down below so as you can see uh, when I select this uh, this stack inside our contact us uh, title uh, section uh, we can see that the anchor name is now contact us so let's select this um, contact us menu uh, let's click uh, manage menu and from here uh, we're going to add a new uh, menu link so select that and uh, let's select the anchor and uh, here let's select uh, contact us click done okay and the name of this item should be uh, contact us and we can remove this one okay so delete that all right, let's save that and let's preview. Okay, so now when we click uh, contact us, we will see that uh, we're going to navigate back to our contact us uh, section down below. So it works uh, perfectly fine. And uh, even on our mobile devices, so when we open up a mobile device here and when we press uh, contact us, we're going to get navigated immediately to this section as well. So uh, everything works perfectly fine. So uh, that will be all for this uh, tutorial series. I hope you enjoyed. Please like this video if you find it helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.